Come on in, sports fans. I'm Derwin Worrell. The Juco World Series continued today, even though the weather didn't want them to. The weather was trying not to cooperate, but number five Crowder, they were taking on number six Central Arizona. Now, these two teams didn't play yesterday, so this was their first taste of the tournament. Let's head over to Simplicio Field, and where the wind was just gusting today, and that would play a factor later on. Let's go to the bottom of the second, no score. Landry Wilkerson at the plate with a runner at second, and that's gonna bring him home. Crowder, they would take a one to nothing lead. Top of the third now. We gotta talk about the pitcher. Jacob Misarowski, he was sitting them down today. A couple of times on that radar gun, and you see it right to the right of his head, he was hitting 100 miles per hour. He had 10 strikeouts in this game. He didn't complete the game, but he was phenomenal today. Bottom of the fifth, it's now two to nothing Crowder. Houston King at the plate with a run at second. And now there's going to be a play at the plate, but it's not going to be in time. Three to nothing Crowder. Top of the six now, Central Arizona with their first real threat, no outs, Ryan Ball, and he delivers. This will get Central Arizona to within two. They trail now three to one. The very next batter is going to be Jalen Ray with runners at second and third. Now, this should be an out, but the shortstop, he's going to bounce this one. One run already in, and here comes the second run. And just like that, we are tied up at three, and we got ourselves a new ball game, folks. Bottom of the six now, Jackson Cobb is going to come to the plate and he is going to go down the line and that's going to bring in the go-ahead run for Crowder. They take a four to three lead. Now this game will be stopped in the bottom of the eighth with two outs due to weather. Crowder has a four to three lead. When they resumed after three hours, Central Arizona, they tied it in the top of the ninth at four and then Crowder, they would have a chance in the bottom of the 10th to take it all. And that shot is going to find the parking lot. Adamo Stornello with the walk-off home run. And you can see the jubilation. This is why they come, folks, to have a chance to win the World Series. And this was, as you can see, a big game for them. And they were excited. Got the chance to catch up with them after the game. Not the biggest power guy on the team for sure, uh, but just had a good swing on the ball high fastball guy the entire time he was in there and just threw me a breaking ball for a ball so kind of expected a fastball come and caught it up front and a good thing happened so I was happy that happened for the for the guys well we did what we did in game one or did what we had to do excuse me in game one um and now we'll you know enjoy this get something to eat get a sandwich in and now it's back to preparation for the next one that's right, you, you earned a meal on that one, Coach. Now let's look at some other scores. Game number two, you see there the Tigers, they get the victory, and also this means that Hartford is eliminated from the, from the World Series. Also, let's go to Sneed and McLennan, the nightcap. The loser is going to be eliminated. Top of the first, two outs. Cole Fontenelle at the plate, and he puts a drive into this one, and this is going to hit off the base of the wall. He's not stopping at second fall. He thought about it. He's going to try for third, and he's going to be in there. The next batter, Daniel Altman, right back through the box. Fontenelle will come on in and score, and McLennan has a one to nothing lead. The very next batter, Joe Sacoli, he smashes this one. Look where this thing lands. It came in at 87 miles per hour, but it left a lot faster than that. Three to nothing, McClendon, the defending champs, they lost game one. They come into this night's game with a purpose. And let's check out the scoreboard right now as this game is still going on. You see it right now, seventh inning. They have a 12 to one lead. I think it's safe to say that they're gonna go on to the next round. Also, before we go, three games tomorrow. We have 10 a.m. Wash Bass Valley takes on San Jacinto at two o'clock. Cowley is going to take in take on McClendon because they're winning now. That's at a 6:30 game, and then the the um, excuse me, that's a two o'clock game. The 6:30 game is Central Florida against number one seed Walters, and it's fireworks night tomorrow. They told me to tell you guys get there at 6:30. Hey, that's all the time we have for sports. I'm Derwin Worrell. More news after the break.